वेलकम बैक यू आर वॉचिंग पार्ट फोर ऑफ ट्रबल शूटिंग वार्निंग हेल्थ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू अवर डिस्कशन ऑन ए डी आर फ्रेमवर्क वी विल डिस्कस ए डी आर कमांड लाइन डायग्नोस्टिक फ्रेमवर्क कंफिग्रेशन इंसिडेंट मैनेजमेंट एंड प्रॉब्लम सपरेशन मोस्ट ऑफ अस स्ट्रगल अलॉट वेन सर्वर गोज इन टू वार्निंग हेल्थ especially in the production grade environment it gets really difficult to identify what is impacting our server's health so my intention is to cover entire series with different different scenario and tools by which we can identify and troubleshoot warning health issue so that we don't end up restarting servers without knowing the exact issue i would recommend you to watch my previous videos on weblogic server running with the warning health Uh, in the first part we discussed and replicated stack thread scenario in the second part we saw how to analyze logs and uh, identify what is causing our server health going into warning state in the part 3 we discussed about adr and uh, see how to utilize adr incident logging to identify issues in this part we are going to discuss more about adr and uh, we'll see how we can utilize different different tools uh, related to adr and diagnostic framework now without any further delay let's explore adr cli or uh, you can call it adr ci so adr ci is a command line utility for the adr to run that uh, you'll have to go to oracle home uh, then oracle common and adr inside that you will be able to see adr ci and you can run adr ci from here if you are not able to run adr ci and you are getting error related to missing library you should consider setting the environment variable for that you will have to go to domain bin and you can run set domain environment.sh after this you can go again to adr path and you can again try to run adr ci you can notice we are getting no adr base is set uh, so we'll have to set adr base so for that uh, we'll have to run set base and uh, we'll have to supply adr path for the osb server 1 for whatever server you want to set as a base so our adr base is set now you can run show base and you will be able to see adr base is getting printed you can also run show home and it will print adr home apart from this you can run show incident command and it will list down all the incidents as part of adr incident reporting and you can see we have 13 incidents here you can also run show problem and it will list the latest problem detected by adr and here you can see we have problem key for the problem and the latest incident was incident number 13 similarly you can run show alert and here we have all the alerts which was detected by the adr and you can see we have stuck thread alerts here if you want to see the details of any particular incident you will have to give detail as a option and you will have to specify incident number so this is the command for that and you can see we have detailed information for the incident number 13 here we have incident id status creation time problem key for the incident along with first incident creation time and the latest incident creation time also this incident was created due to stuck thread that is also specified here and uh, these are the different different metrics which got created as part of incident reporting uh, which is also specified here there are requirements where oracle support ask us to provide diagnostic data so we can pack incident information and send it to oracle support for that we'll have to package a incident and for this uh, we have this command that is ips create package and uh, you'll have to give incident number here 
so we are packaging incident number 13 so this incident is logically created uh, by the adrci but uh, if you want to generate this incident as a zip file you will have to run another command and this is the command to generate this package and we can specify the output directory here uh, so we'll have to supply package number here so let's run this again so package number is 2 not 13 13 is our incident number so let's give 2 here and our package is generated to this path now let us go to this path and see if we have that zip file or not so we are in the output directory and here you can see we have our package if you unzip this you will get the incident details here so these many files are inside this zip and if you go to diagnostic you will see incident information here so this is very helpful when you want to package an incident and want to share it to oracle support uh, this utility can help you to achieve that so this adr command uh, line utility is helpful especially for the case where we have too many incidents to track uh, for example in a production grade environment where we have millions of requests and there are tons of incidents so if you want to track the specific error you can utilize this utility and it will save a lot of time for you now let us see the configuration of diagnostic framework for that you will have to log into em console and here you will have to go to system uh, mbin browser then application defined mbins under that you will find oracle.dfw and here you can go to osb server 1 because we want to configure for the osb server 1 and here we'll go to diagnostic config mbin click diagnostic config and you can see we have different different attributes which we can configure for the diagnostic framework so let us cover some of the important uh, attributes here so first is uh, flood control enabled so it should be enabled uh, for your environment uh, because uh, if there are too many similar kind of incident for example if a stuck thread is there and uh, multiple stuck threads are getting created for the same reason it will control the creation of incident for the similar error so this is the limit so if uh, we have five similar kind of incident it is going to control the creation of incident here you can configure the span of uh, flood control that is by default 60 minutes and uh, from here you can enable or disable the creation of incident itself so by default incident creation is enabled so it should be enabled if you want to capture the incidents using diagnostic framework this attribute is for the log detection uh, and it should also be true and uh, here we can configure the maximum incident size so by default it is set to 500 mb so if an uh, incident is capturing uh, more than 500 mb data it is uh, going to throttle it diagnostic framework hold uh, amount of memory to create uh, manual dumps so this is the maximum size of memory it can hold for the dumps creation so we have one more attribute here that is reserved memory in kbs so adr framework holds certain amount of memory for its functioning let's say the server is running out of memory so in that case adr framework is going to release uh, those reserved memory blocks and it will release that uh, reserved memory for the system processing similarly you can configure these properties from the backend also for that you will have to go to domain home 
then config fmw config servers and the server name here you will see dfw config.xml and uh, we have similar kind of properties here as well and you can see we have incident creation flood control properties here so you can control it from here as well now let us discuss problem separation so let's say you are testing something in the lower environment and you don't want to uh, create incident for certain keywords such as uh, out of memory errors or uh, stub thread errors so you can exclude those from the filter uh, that is called problem separation uh, similarly you can control or configure that uh, from the system mbin browser uh, for that you'll have to go to uh, oracle.dfw similarly what we did earlier and this time you'll have to go to domain then go to diagnostic config mbin and here you will see three or more uh, diagnostic config uh, properties uh, it depends uh, based on number of servers you have so we'll go to sb server 1 so you can expand the show mbin information and as you can see this is for the osb server number 1 now you can go to operations and uh, here you will see add problem key filter so go to add problem key filter and here you can uh, insert keywords or a regular expression for the keyword so that uh, those can be excluded from the incident creation so let us add some filters here and see if it works or not so first we'll find some keyword and then uh, we will put that filter here so let us go to our incident so we'll go to domain home then servers osb servers adr base and then we'll go to incident now i'm going to incident number 13 and you can see we have a problem key here in this incident uh, that is bea 00037 so i'm going to create a filter for bea so let's do that and uh, whatever problem key we will have with bea keyword it will be filtered so i will invoke this operation so we'll have to give this key uh, inside inverted comma and uh, it should work so here we have uh, a value of the key so let us try to get a problem key filters and uh, we should see our problem key value so click on return this time we'll go to get problem key filter and we'll give one here and you can see it is returning problem key value now it is time uh, that we should test uh, this problem key filter so for that we will invoke our service and try to create uh, a stuck thread scenario and we'll see whether incident is getting created or not so as you can see we have incident number 13 and if incident is getting created it should create uh, with a uh, sequence 14 so we'll try to invoke our service and try to create stuck thread scenario and this is our service let's go to console and you can see our server is in warning state so let us see whether any incident got created or not for that we'll go to adr home so you can see we don't have any new incident here if your property is not reflecting consider restarting your server and it should uh, work as expected in order to disable this we'll return to the previous menu and here we have a remove problem key filter and we can give the value of our problem key that is one invoke and our problem key has been deleted in the last let us discuss manual creation of an incident for that we will require wlst so we will connect to wlst using java command you can run java weblogic.wlst let us see how many incidents we have uh, under adr incident location so you can see we have incident till 15 
so we will try to create and see if incident number 16 is getting created or not so let us connect to our admin server for that we'll have to invoke connect function uh, so this is our username this is our password and this is our admin server host and port so it looks like our username and password is incorrect so let's correct that one and now we are connected so we will use create incident function uh, to create an incident so as part of this function we are passing message id for which we want to create an incident and in the description you can give any description and uh, we want to create this in adr home for the osb server one so i am passing a server name also so when you hit this you should be able to see an incident and you can see we have uh, incident 16 here uh, which is created by us manually so this is required when our server is not creating an incident and we want to create an incident for some message id or for some specific error so it can be done now let us go to adr incident and see if we have incident 16 or not and you can see we have incident 16 and you can go to readme.txt as well so that's it for this video if you found this video helpful uh, please support me like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification you can also leave a comment and suggest a topic so that i can come up with more videos like this thank you